All my life, I basically had the same hairstyle. Short on the sides, long bangs, and pushed to the side like I'm Justin Bieber. It wasn't until the whole TikTok craze that I decided to switch things up and do a little middle part. But in reality, I've never done anything too drastic with my hair. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my hair, and I'm confident in the way that God made me. But you gotta admit, especially my guys out there who also have straight hair like me, everybody likes a good old curly-haired TikTok boy, right? And so I thought to myself, I'm a 21-year-old guy. Soon, doing something like this is gonna be borderline immature as I step into manhood. And even though so many people told me this was a bad idea, to each and every single one of them, I looked them straight in their eyes and I said, keep Austin weird. Okay, I didn't actually say that, but you get the point. We're only young once, now's the time to take risks, to live with passion, to live musically. Okay, let's go get this perm. So Josh and I arrived at iClips on Guadalupe right across from UT's campus and not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous at first. I don't know about you, but I'm not one to typically trust a barbershop with the word clips in its name. But nevertheless, it was too late to back out now. I started out by getting faded by Matt and then I was sent to May to start putting the curls in my hair. Some of the sweetest people I've ever met, they've been working there for more than 15 years if I remember correctly, so they know what they're doing. At least I hope so. At one point she put this weird chemical solution in my hair and it was fine at first, but after 30 to 45 minutes it started smelling terrible and it also burned a little bit. But I think that's normal. Once May had finished with another client, it was finally time to take the pins out and wash the curls. In that clip from the beginning of the video, I was genuinely scared out of my mind. It was honestly terrifying looking into that mirror and seeing what looked like a few strands of wet ramen noodles on my head. In that moment, I seriously did not know how the perm was going to turn out. Was I going to have to buzz it all off if it didn't look good? But just like with a lot of things in life, I just needed to trust the process. And bada bing, bada boom, here's how it turned out. There it is. And this is what it looks like now. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car. <laughs> Honestly, I'm still in shock. But I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. Like, if you didn't know me before and I was like, hey, nice to meet you. I'm convinced you wouldn't even question if this was my natural hair. Is that toxic? Huh. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's go get my friend's reactions. You just look normal. I look weird. I don't like guys with curly hair at all. Yeah, me neither, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. yo, yo, yo. You, hey, you like it, dude? Hold you on. like it, bro? Thank you. Bryson, take your shirt off. Would you give it a mouth to mouth? I was like, drowning. I'll only eat for you. My friend Jackson, you might remember him from the joining a fraternity for a week vlog, got a mullet recently. He was too afraid to show it to the vlog at first, but he eventually came through. Take it off, take it off, take it off! You can't that. That looks good, the dude. Top is bad. That's pretty good. You look good. Not that you asked, but for those of you wondering how long the perm will last, apparently May said it should last between three and four months. I know, shocker, right? I used to think perms only lasted a week at max, but I guess that was kind of dumb of me considering perm literally stands for permanent. 
Anyway, I feel like it just simply won't last that long for me though because my hair grows insanely fast. Speaking of insanely fast growth, today's video is sponsored by Socialbook. Socialbook is a two-fold online platform that helps facilitate growth for both influencers and brands. Socialbook has a bunch of tools for content creators like myself to optimize my outreach on the interweb. For example, they have a tool called Tag Research that allows you to get an overview of some valuable insight about what people are searching for constantly online. You may be asking why is this important? Well, if I were planning a video about UT Austin, I could search up the tag UT Austin and find out some useful information like search volume, competition score, keyword difficulty to help me determine the level of reach that my video will potentially have. Click the link in the description to sign up for Social Book for free today. Now back to the vlog. Now to me, like I mentioned earlier, getting a perm was a big deal. But the thing is, it didn't have to be. As humans, we are highly susceptible of being afraid of change, often to the point where we allow the fear of the unknown to keep us from pursuing the path that God has already laid out for us. Now, I'm not saying that me getting a perm was explicitly laid out in God's plan for my life, but just treat it as an analogy. What is that big thing in your life that God is calling you to that you're simply running away from, just like Jonah was running away from Nineveh before God sent that big old fish to yeet that boy back in the right direction? Is it a fear that you'll be misunderstood, a fear that you'll be rejected, a fear that you'll experience pain or humiliation or discomfort. Well, if so, I have some good news for you. Jesus already suffered our greatest fears for us. Jesus was deeply misunderstood and falsely accused, rejected by those who should have wanted him most, overlooked, used, publicly humiliated, overwhelmed by weakness. He suffered intense physical pain and sorrow and was mocked and taunted as one who was rejected by God. As we step into the end of Holy Week, let us consider the sacrifice that Jesus endured through his death on the cross for our sins. He died so that we no longer need to be afraid of anything, not of sin, not of death, and not even of change. In his resurrection, we are set free from fear forever. Just like how this perm is permanent, remember that God's love for you is everlasting. Happy Easter and keep awesome weird. I'll see y'all in the next video.